prayed in an unknown tongue. My spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit. You can sing in tongues as well. I do that. And I will sing with understanding also. What he was saying is, this doesn't mean you just abandon all natural prayer. You can still pray because like when we pray corporately or when we come together, we pray for one another. We're praying in a language so that everyone else can understand what's going on. I've been in bilingual services. I know what it means, you know, when somebody's standing up and praying and they're praying in all Spanish. I'm not saying amen because I don't know what you're praying. I'm, I can't say even so. You could be saying, and I pray that tonight everybody goes on to see the Lord. And I'm like, no, oh, I ain't ready to go yet unless it's my time. I'm not going to pray that. You know, but, but that's the same thing. That's the same principle. <clears throat> and there's a the thing about touching and agreeing. That's why it's so strong. You can touch, but everybody doesn't agree. Jesus, when he went to go heal a young girl, she was sick. She had been died. There were people in the house when he said that she was just sleeping, they laughed to scorn him. And so Jesus put them out because they were on the same, they weren't on one accord. You got to be on one. When the Bible says, believe as a little child, you need people that believe like a little child. I don't care if it's two or three of you. If you're praying for somebody and they in stage four cancer, you don't need nobody doubting it. Well, maybe he will, maybe he won't. No, nah, you're going ahead and step out the door right now. We believe that Jesus is there. <laughs> you know, and so that's what, it's, that, that's what you need when you're touching and agreeing. Yes. Verse 16. Else when thou shalt, thou shalt bless with the spirit, how shall he that occupies the room of an unlearned of the unlearned say amen? That's what I'm just saying. <laughs> At thy giving of thanks, seeing he understandeth not what he said. How can you basically say if you, you, you if you don't understand, how you gonna say amen? If you don't even know what, what was said. You know, you just heard a long prayer and then they were, oh man, oh man, and you like amen, and you just don't know what you just said. I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> For verily. Thou givest thanks well, but the other is not edified. I thank God. I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than ye all, yet in the church I had rather speak five words with understanding that by my voice I might teach others than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. Paul is emphasizing again, prophesy. That's when you're corporately. Uh, <clears throat> Brethren, be not children in understanding how be it in malice be ye children in be ye children but in understanding be men <clears throat> in the law it is written with men with men of other tongues and of other lips I will speak to this people and yet for all that they that will they not hear me saith the Lord wherefore when tongues are for a sign Wherefore, tongues are a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, but for them that believe. So there's times when you're going to hear people, you're going to, you'll hear people praying in different times. I mean, like when someone is praying corporately, someone may be standing beside you, someone with, they may be praying in the spirit. You know, that's a sign. When the Bible says these signs and wonders shall follow them that believe, that's one of the signs and wonders. Yes, they shall not, they shall not, they'll take up deadly things and it won't harm them. Yes, they'll lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. And it says they shall speak in new tongues. That's a sign to unbelievers. Okay? And it's also a sign even to us who are believers to encourage us, to show us that the Spirit is still working in signs and wonders in our midst. If therefore the whole church come together in one place and all speak with tongues, and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers, will they not say, Are ye mad? But if ye all prophesy and they come in, one that believeth not or unlearned, he is convinced of all that he is judged of all. Thus and thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest. And so falling down on his face will worship God and the re and report that God 
is in you of truth. There's a purpose behind all of it, and, 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 and you just saw, I just had to go through that, that entire scripture to, to break that, down everything and show the difference in the purpose and everything. And so, got just a couple more scriptures. In Jude chapter 20, verses 20 and 21, Jude, I mean, it's not Jude chapter 20. It's Jude. There's only one chapter of Jude. So it's Jude verses 20 and 21. Jude is, should be right before Revelation. And it says, But ye beloved, building up yourselves. There goes that word building up. Building up, edifying yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. That's how we that's we build up ourselves. If you want to, you want to teach someone. If you want to share this 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 word. If you want to pray for someone, encourage someone. This is what we do: building up ourselves, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. That's that's the importance of it. Very very important. I've heard testimonies of people who were praying for people who, because they were praying in the spirit, our minds are limited. Uh, once I get past the children and people in church and friends and family, I don't know what else to pray. But I know that there's more to prayer than just praying for mom and them and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Other people and people that I know. And so when the spirit, when you tap into the spirit, the spirit will have you pray for people that you never met. People got Holy Spirit will have you pray for people in other countries who are on missionary trips, who are in dangers, seen and unseen. He will have you doing that. And, you're, and not only that, you're building yourself up, but you're praying a perfect prayer. Even when we pray in the natural, there's some stuff that we leave out. That's why the Bible says that the Spirit give us utterance. Utterance means it takes over. It takes over and it prays a perfect prayer. I'm limited. I might pray for AJ in a particular way. When a, I might pray for ABC with AJ, and, and God is like, nah, he needs ABC, EFG, you know. And so now I've limited myself on my effectiveness in prayer because I thought that I prayed what I needed to pray. The Spirit does that for us. And so finally, one of the things that we need to understand is there's gifts of the Spirit. After the infilling baptism of the Holy there's gifts. There are gifts. And they're all free. Again, they're all free. And guess what? Everyone has gifts. Everyone. God has given everyone gifts. There are some gifts that, that's why the Bible says, neglect not the gift that is in you. Because you don't know who's hurting, who's in a point of need that need you to operate in your gift, you to operate in your gift, you to operate in your gift. The body is just like it's just like me having uh, one hand. Once this hand gets to operate, now I can do a whole lot more than I could with just this one hand. The body is the same way. Imagine trying to operate with just one finger. You got one pinky, but you really got four other ones. But because your four other ones don't know their place. Now the body is not able to fully operate. Same thing in the spirit. We need everybody. And that's why we need to be able to share the word of God, share this gospel, share this message with everybody. Hey man, did you do you know about this? Pray to God for revelation. Because why? Because we all need each other. We all need each other. Um, and so in 1 Corinthians 12. Starting at verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, I will not have you ignorant. Brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you understanding that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences in administrations, but the same Lord. There are diversities in, of operations, but the same God worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the gift is given to every man to profit with all. 
you have people, and it's talking about administrations, those are other different types of gifts, people that just, man, paperwork is their thing, organization, organization is their thing, you know, all of these different things are different gifts, you know what I'm saying, that people have. But it says, to one is given a spirit, the word of wisdom. And so I don't, I don't want to go into all of these uh, in depth because we don't. I want to take too take too long uh, time. But word of wisdom, in in a, in a in a in a nutshell, basically the Holy Spirit gives someone something that is extraordinary. You, you Solomon operated, you know, more in depth in the spirit of wisdom. You look at Ecclesiastes. You look at Proverbs. You look at Psalm. I mean. Ecclesiastes, Proverbs, Song of Solomon, not, not, not Psalm. Psalms was David. And, so I got correct. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that now. But wisdom, operating in the spirit of wisdom. God, God may give you something in your spirit that someone else doesn't even know and understand. They can give you something. Hey, sister, I know you you getting ready to do such and such, but <clears> the <throat> Lord just told me that you need to. And then you pray for confirmation, but God will give people those gifts. There are things moving forward that we need. See, God may not give that to me, but he may give it to you and say, hey, tell Pastor James do such and such. Thank you, brother. In the name of Jesus. I, because, again, I got one. I'm operating with one hand, and then you operate now. I'm okay. I'm like the tin man on Wizard of Oz. Now, I feel like I can do some stuff, you know. All right. So, <laughs> to another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit. That, that's deep understanding of the word of God. It is an extraordinary gift to be able to teach God will give someone that. God gives people that. To another, to, to another faith by the same spirit. You say, well, everybody got faith. There's some, God will give someone the spirit of extraordinary faith. They step out and it's just like, listen, I don't get the water. Oh, 10,000 feet down, let's walk. They ready to go. Some of us might be, wait, wait, wait a second. I ain't got that revelation yet. Um, <laughs> you go ahead, brother, because you got the <laughs> faith. Start sinking, I'm gonna throw you a rap. No, you got faith in the name of Jesus. To another, gifts of healing, the same spirit. That's why you see people, but then again, you see people <coughs> doing what I said Simon wanted to do, putting money behind it. Healing ministries. Very, very God can we can we can all lay hands. God says that you know God has given us that that power. But then you have some people with the extra they have the spirit, they have a spiritual gift. You know what I'm saying? That's just their thing that God has given them. They lay hands on people and they get them healed. To another working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another discerning of spirits. That's very important. Who needs that gift? Somebody walk in and y'all able, somebody got to give and be like, brother, no, nah, you need to, um, da -da -da -da. whatever it is. You know, you got people who are in churches who've been given positions of authority, praise and worship leader, Gave us a two dollar bill. I just got to call this man. I, I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You cannot. You and God wants everybody in the church. That that's not that's not that everybody's welcome. But positions of leadership, I can't be leading you if I'm operating in a, another spirit. If I'm operating outside of the word of God. If I'm operating outside of the will of God. But I've seen that seasoned men of God, and I'm like, brother, you don't see what I see. Hey, praise the Lord. Come in. I'm like, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I know if I see that, you got the, yeah. but then they don't see it. Mm -hmm. Discerning of spirits yes. is powerful. Another diverse kinds of tongues, mm -hmm. different types of prophecy, understanding tongues, of course, praying in tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all these work it one in the self same spirit. Dividing to every man severally as he will. Mm -hmm. So God will give them who he will. Mm -hmm. And I like it in wrapping up, it's just like the armed forces. You got the Navy, well, I'm pointing to the air. You got the Navy in the water. You got the Air Force. You got the Army. You got the Marines. Everybody got their job, right? Air Force did get this, fly planes, drop bombs, everything, Navy, they on the water. They, everybody's got different training, different gifts. But guess what? When the commander-in-chief says there's a war going on, and there's a war going on, there's an enemy, guess what? He's trying to kill people. He has killed people. And he's saying, I'm deploying you. We got to discover what those gifts are. Am I supposed to be fine planes? 
Am I supposed to be on this ship? Am I supposed to be on the ground and in, in the grass? Where am I supposed to be, Lord? Because when I get up there, I want to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. He didn't tie, he didn't say, pass up, apostle, none of that, he, servant. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You were where I needed you to be, operating in the gifts that I needed you to operate in, and doing what I needed you to do for the success of the body of Christ. What we have going on today, we need to pray against that. And there's a lot of psh, division. There's just division. There's just people don't want. It's this. I tell everybody like this. We got one devil. We got one enemy. And so it's really not confusing as to who we should be, you know, fighting and how, but everybody's got their own plan. But again, if we're listening to Jesus, if we're truly listening to Jesus, it's just like the military ain't going to go and deploy nowhere and not be on the same. They all got the radios. If the Air Force bomb in the wrong place where they got regular troops at, that is a catastrophe. Tanks go be in place. Why? Because they're all listening to central command. You listen to central command, it's impossible to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. It's impossible. And so the Holy Spirit helps us get there. Um, it's as simple as just, just like you, just like you were uh, saved and born again, however you did that, you prayed. You know, of course, we confess with our mouth, believe in our heart, the Lord Jesus. And we believe that he was, he died and he was resurrected and he now sits at the right hand of the Father. It's the same way he receives, uh, I mean, the same way we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Lord, baptize me in the Holy Spirit and give me a revelation of what it is that I have and how to use it. Give, and he will give it to you. He said, if you ask for wisdom, he said, I'm going to give it to you. He said, I give it to you liberally. You got to tell me, stop, okay, I got enough for right now. Let me process what I just got right now. He said he'll give it to you liberally. And he did that. He did that in my life. It took me, it took me, I, I'll, I'll testify, it took me, I'll tell you, it took me uh, a few few years, three, four years for me to truly understand baptism of the Holy Spirit because I allowed the enemy to fight me here on what I was saying here. And because I couldn't understand here what I was saying here, that's what kept me not doing it. But then when I got a revelation that here, I'm not going to understand it here. Oh, I just started praying all the time. Just start, and, and I literally felt the difference. I felt the difference. I can't explain that. That's experiential, but I felt the difference. So at this time, we want to do as we